Hi Tubies, here's Alexandra, and uh, I'm coming to you with some bad news. Well, you have uh, seen my last videos, I was really happy about uh, that my uh, printer, the Anycubic Photon, finally was able to uh, give out uh, really cool uh, miniatures, like here, those here from uh, Dragon's Forge miniatures, here the dwarfs from their uh, Kickstarter campaign, or here, as you can see in the background, here the uh, knights from uh, Highlands games, and uh, well, these are uh, now the last 3D prints uh, you will see from me, because, uh, well, I killed my printer. I thought I uh, would be now able to uh, revitalize my channel with uh, presenting you with uh, new awesome uh, prints uh, every now and then, uh, make more painting tutorials with uh, neat miniatures, not always uh, space marines and so on, and uh, give you something, uh, well, new and exciting and, uh, well, let me tell you the story what happened. Uh, I tried to uh, print uh, a new file that I uh, bought yesterday from uh, my mini factory, it was a squad of uh, heretic uh, um, guardsmen, and uh, well, I uh, sliced them, I uh, put them on my uh, USB stick, I uh, put them in the printer, and I started printing, and uh, for some reason it didn't print. So after uh, three hours I uh, stopped the printing program, so the build plate was absolutely empty. And I thought, okay, let's try that again. I pressed start, and I immediately uh, rec remembered, wait a minute, uh, uh, the printing process was uh, two hours in the making. That means uh, in the vat there is uh, still something in there, uh, so I should not let the build plate hit uh, the bottom of the vat, uh, otherwise it could crush, crush the, um, the LCD screen underneath the vat. So I stopped, or tried to stop the printing process. And uh, the build plate lowered and lowered and lowered and still lowered, and I pressed stop, stop, stop. It didn't do anything, it still lowered, and uh, I panicked, and I switched off the printer to stop the process in the tracks. I turned it back on to move the build plate up and uh, reset everything, and... Uh, well, from that moment forward, my printer was dead. It doesn't take any commands whatsoever. The build plate doesn't move anymore. It doesn't uh, move if I uh, uh, tip on the uh, movement options in the uh, menu. I uh, cannot move it uh, with a new print. I can't do anything with it. Uh, the fan uh, for the uh, printer doesn't uh, turn on. You sometimes hear a little, but that's it. And, uh, well, I tried to uh, switch the firmware uh, on it with no effect. And I have no idea how to fix such a thing. Uh, I don't have money for a new mainboard, for example, or something like that. Uh, I I have no electronics and mechanical skills to repair something uh, in the motor or something like that. So that means, well, this is the end for my 3D printing uh, projects. Well, let me show you uh, the last prints that I uh, was able to uh, print. So um, as you can see here, this is uh, <coughs> from uh, Highlands Miniatures, the night, uh, but uh, while I'm um, painting here for the painting tutorial, I always thought hmm, the scale is a little bit too small for me uh, nowadays, and I scaled them up. So here we have uh, a scaled up version uh, of a knight with uh, several cat hair on the helmet. Let's remove that quickly. There we go. <coughs> so uh, here we have uh, now a scaled up version. <clears throat> this is uh, now printed at uh, 120%. Um, here we have uh, the nice horse for that. I must say, uh, still, I'm uh, still thrilled uh, with the miniatures from Highlands uh, Miniatures. I would really love to uh, be able to be 
uh, printing a whole new uh, medieval knight army. Uh, Bretonians. But, uh, well, unfortunately that's not possible. So here's uh, the shield. Nice shield designs with some uh, fleur de lis on them. <clears throat> In the old scale uh, from the uh, different knight here, I also uh, printed out uh, from that set all the shield designs and uh, all the helmet designs so that you can take a look at them. Here we have the shields. Uh, here again, this one with a cross guard and uh, with some fleur de lis. Here also some with an uh, uh, iron border. You have here a grail symbol on a shield with some uh, decorative elements. Here you have a wooden shield with uh, some uh, iron fencing around them. Here some uh, plain shields. Here you have some uh, uh, kite shields, I think they're called. Yeah, and for helmet variants uh, you have here, uh, one with a deer hat. <coughs> oh, and here are two other shield designs. <coughs> you have obviously um, this one here with a bull head. <coughs> then you have this one here with a plain head. Another plain helmet, then one with a horse on top, here we have uh, one with some eagle with wings, all nice Bretonian designs, <coughs> yeah that one was shown already, and then one with a, a plain helmet, so if you're wanting to convert some uh, Space Marines or Stormcast Eternals with Knight Helmets, those are a pretty good source for that. Yeah, uh, those were the last prints uh, I was able to uh, pull from my printer and, well, now he's dead. Sorry guys, no more 3D printing uh, from me, so sorry for uh, that. And uh, sorry absolutely to uh, Dragonforge miniatures. I was uh, happy to have received all the uh, files for your uh, Kickstarter program here from the Dwarves. I was looking forward to uh, printing a whole army of them uh, and showing them off here on, the, on my channel. But uh, those four are the only ones that have survived the purge of the printer. Well, uh... I hope you uh, have a wonderful day, everybody. A better day than mine. And, uh, well, i see you in the next video. You're Alexandra. Bye.